What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my car subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for Sign of Aquarius. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspect of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hey, Rings of your chart. Stuff through basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. This is for all aspects of Aquarius. You could have uh, Aquarius in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hey, Rings of your chart. Um, I encourage everybody to check out their, at least our Sun, Moon, Rising charts for additional message or messages. It's free general collective reading. So, as always, only take the message or messages that resonate and apply and leave the rest, okay? Love you guys so much. Thanks for all the shares of my content, my videos. It's really helping them get around on social media and to new people that do not know about my channel and that would enjoy my content. I very much appreciate that. Very much, you guys. I did receive two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy, um, Aquarius. And uh, uh, heavy death spells for lawyers. I just want to say that. Um, heavy, heavy. Okay, so there's two situations. The first one, it's a light side lawyer that somebody has been attempting to put a death spell on. I heard that's about to backfire on the wielder soon. So for some, I feel you could be the light side lawyer that somebody has been attempting to wield a death spell on. And it's about to actually, I heard it's actually going to energetically boomerang back onto them. Now, it's a death spell. It's not confusion, memory loss, um, which the, all those are bad too. But the death spells are way high up there in the dark arts building. So it makes me wonder if somebody's going to pass away from, like, they were wishing death upon you, light side lawyer that has Aquarius in your chart, I'm feeling. It makes me wonder if it's going to, I heard it's going to interject a boomerang back on them. I wonder if they're going to die, is what I'm saying. I mean, I hate to put it that way, but I'm serious. I wonder if they are going to pass away, or they get so ill, they they are on death dying bed. I didn't hear they were going to pass away. I just heard it's, it's going to interject a boomerang back very negatively upon them. So, I feel they're either going to pass away, or they're going to get very ill, and possible death dying door energy. That's situation one. You are a light side lawyer. So I feel you're, um, I feel you're spiritual. I didn't hear you were, but I feel you are. I feel you do your protection spells, your return to senders. I feel you protect yourself spiritually is what I'm saying. And I think that's why it's returning the sender on their ass. That's for situation one. Situation two, there's a dark side lawyer with Aquarius in their chart. I heard they have performed death spells on a uh, femme energy in the past. I heard... Through many series of chain events, it's already boomeranged back onto this lawyer, and it's going to continue to backfire on them. I heard they probably will pass away soon. And they are an Aquarius feminine, if that resonates. So you plug it in how it resonates. Two different situations, two different lawyers, and I feel they both have Aquarius in their chart. Situation one, I didn't hear Aquarius lawyer if you're a masculine or feminine. I feel you can be masculine or feminine. But for situation two, it is an Aquarius femme, the dark side lawyer. It is an Aquarius fam, and she has Aquarius in some aspect of her chart. And um, she wielded a death spell on some, another fem energy. And it's already boomerang energetically back on her, but it's about to boomerang energetically back upon her more. I heard she probably will pass away soon. So I feel she's either ill in the universe now, or she's about to become severely ill in the universe. So ill, she probably will pass away soon. If she is an Aquarius feminine, and she can have Aquarius in any aspects of her chart. So, you plug those in, however they resonate and apply in your life, Aquarius, okay? By the way, this is for November 7th to November 14th of 2022. I'm going to start doing weekly readings and really stay on top of it, just so everybody knows, okay? So, yeah. So, death spells on lawyers for the one that you are light side and you're very highly, you're spiritually protected, sorry, ma'am. You're spiritually protected, but I think you, you're highly intuitive and you know you are. So, um. That's good. Oh, my God. You can't make this up even if you wanted to. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Spiritual protection for situation one, the light side Aquarius lawyer, where somebody's been putting death spells on your ass. You can't make it up even if you wanted to. And that's just the truth. All right. For some, you could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. If you are, they can have Aries, Leo, side or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or them in hand with Jupiter charts. If you are, you have Lizard and Sea Serpent. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. 
clouds, temporary problems, bold, plenty of material things. For some, I feel the temporary problems could be, I think for some, you know this Aquarius feminine lawyer, the uh, dark side Aquarius feminine lawyer that have put a death spell on another feminine energy. I think you're about to hear of her passing or her about extremely ill is what I feel for some of you guys. And I'm just being for real. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. I definitely think that goes for situation one with the light side, masculine, femme, Aquarius warrior, where somebody was trying to put death spells on you and it has energetically been raining back upon them already in the universe. If there's some noise in the background, I apologize. I have my dryer on and my dishwasher on, so I do apologize for that. Um, it's a low decibel dishwasher, but um, I didn't want it to be too loud for you guys. Spirit message is here. Invocation. Blizzard. A death of a far sign, masculine, in an Aquarius's life has been strategically hid from another fire sign feminine in your family. There are many series of shame events. She's about to find this out. Know this. You were helping hide this. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, um, you have been strategically hiding a, um, um, a death of a fire sign masculine in your family from a fire sign femme in your family. So it sounds like already in the energetic space, an Aries Leo Sagittarius masculine has already passed away in your family. These are family members if this resonates for you, Aquarius. These are family members, okay? So a death of an Aries Leo Sagittarius masculine has already passed away in your family. But you have been helping hide the death of this Aries Leo Sagittarius masculine to from an Aries Leo Sag femme, also in your family. But I heard from many series of chain events, she's about to find out. But you have been helping hide this. And now, why you were helping hide the death of him from her, because these are both family members of yours, whether extended or immediate, I don't know. But I heard she's about to find out. So, um, heavy fire sign energy, whether it's the one that's already passed away, where you've been strategically hiding the death of him, or the one that's still living, the fire sign thing that's still living, and she's about to find out. Overdose energy strong here. And alcoholism. She's about to find out soon. Overdose energy strong here and alcoholism. She's about to find out soon. So it sounds like this far sign masculine is already passed away in the universe. Aries Leo Sagittarius masculine um, in your family, if this resonates for you, Aquarius, um, that you helped hide from her. It sounds like he passed away from an overdose or alcoholism or both. Drugs and alcohol heavy here. I mean, addictions, not just social drinking. Um, Addictions, heavy addictions. So you plug in how it resonates. He's uh, he's pulling up as the lizard and so is she. So I'm thinking they're good shapeshifters or he was. I think he hid his, uh, I think he hid his uh, addictions from a lot of people is what I think. Because he's pulling up as the lizard energy. I think he hid them from a lot of people um, is what I think. Shape-shifting energy here. I think he was probably a functional alcoholic or a secret drug user is what I think. But I heard she's about to find out. Sea serpent.
An Aquarius has a very narcissistic water sign trolling their social media YouTube platform. Attempting to copy your content. But through many series of chain of events, someone else is about to catch this person and they're about to contact you and let you know. You're going to take great action on this. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Wow. So copycat energy. Um, copycat energy, it's a water sign, masculine or feminine water sign. They have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, and Haven, Jupiter charts. They're trolling your, um, I heard YouTube platform, social media YouTube platform. So whoever you are, you have a YouTube platform with content on it. So, you know, you have you can have a YouTube handle just to get on and view the other people's content. Um, or you can use your YouTube handle and create your own content. Whoever you are, Aquarius, if this resonates for you, I feel you can be master femme. You have actually created content on your channel. And there's some water sign, narcissistic water sign, that has been secretly trolling your content to copy it. Masculine or feminine, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I heard somebody else is about to catch this person. Now, how they catch them, I'm not sure. But I heard once they catch them copying your content and trolling your um, YouTube channel for content to basically copy, I heard they're going to contact you. They're going to contact you, Aquarius. Um, it hasn't happened yet in the universe. It sounds like it's, like it's upcoming. They're going to contact you. And I heard once they contact you, Aquarius, you're going to take some huge action. I'm assuming against the water sign, against the sea serpent energy. About to take some huge action, not fucking around. Oh, I heard fucking. Okay. I heard you're going to take some huge action. You're not fucking around. Well, and honestly, I would do the exact same thing, Aquarius. I would do the exact same damn thing. Stay your paws off of people's fucking content. Use your own original work. Quit plagiarizing people and copying people. Um, people get copyrights and um, and protection on their shit for reasons. That's the whole reason I have a co copyright on my channel. And that's just the damn truth because I was tired of people stealing my shit. Um, now, whether you have a copyright on your channel or not, Aquarius, I'm not sure. I would suggest getting one. Uh, but, of course, you have the free will to get one if you want if you want to or not, but either way, their ass is about to get caught. Their ass is about to get caught, and I heard you're going to take huge action. Um, so whatever action you're going to take, you, you plug it in how it resonates. But this water sign is coming up as the sea serpent energy. I'm feeling, obviously, okay, so we have the eyeball in the middle, or it looks like an eyeball. They're watching, 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 but this is stalkery, lurkery, um, energy. This isn't admiring energy. This is, I'm watching your content strictly to steal and modify it and bend it to how I can use it for my own gain, basically. Not admiring energy like, hey, I really love your work. I love your content. Not like that. So shy to shit. But I heard they're about to get caught. And it's, uh, this other person is going to they're going to be high vibrational and, and tell you, and that's wonderful. So, sea serpent energy, your water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, stalkery, lurkery, watchful eye to copy and um, and um, steal from you. But the tables are going to turn once you get contact from this other person, and you're about to turn the tables on their ass, I'm feeling. So, you plug in how it resonates, Aquarius. That's exactly what I would do, and that's just damn true. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. A donation is about to become very significant in Aquarius' life. For one, you're about to give it. One, you're about to receive it. A donation is about to become very significant in Aquarius' life. For one, you're about to give the donation. One, you're about to receive it. So, 
giving and receiving in this aspect. For some, it could be both. For some, you could be giving a donation and receiving a donation. For some, you could just be giving. For some, you could just be receiving. You plug in how it resonates. Heavy donation energy in here. However, that resonates and applies in your life, Aquarius. Only you know if you're going to give a donation, receive a donation, or both. A diamond ring is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life, too. A diamond ring is about to become very significant. One, you're about to get engaged. One, you're about to get engaged. Well, congratulations, Aquarius. So a, um, a diamond ring is about to become uh, significant in one of you guys' life. For one, you're about to get engaged. So I think you're about to get surprised with the diamond ring. Um, or you help pick out the diamond ring and you get engaged. How would that resonate? I'd want to help pick out my diamond ring. And that's just the truth. But some people like to be surprised. But whether you're the one proposing to somebody or you're the one about to get proposed to, somebody's about to get proposed to, Aquarius. Whether you're the one about to be proposed to or you're proposing. And I think, strongly feel, a diamond ring is significant in the proposal. If you're not getting proposed, I feel for some, you're not getting proposed to or you're not proposing somehow a diamond ring is significant in your life too and we have the diamond on this card too you plug it in how it resonates that could be the invocation energy too because this is inviting energies into your life inviting opportunities energies uh love um inviting um things into your life so in this aspect it could be inviting an engagement into one's life possibly confirmation with my phone clouds temporary problems An Aquarius's college age child is about to flunk out of college. It's about to shock the hell out of this Aquarius. They're a very prominent Aquarius Aquarius. It's about to embarrass them very deeply. Oh my lord. An affair with a instructor is very significant in this. Know this. Your child has not told you this. But this is a huge reason why. Oh, my God Almighty. Whoa, we're getting to the T. Damn. So you plug it in how it resonates. Jesus. Okay, so one of you guys, you have a college age, um, a college age um, child in college. One of you do. Uh, do. One of you does. One of you, one of you have a, has a college age child in college. Um, so I'm feeling... 17 to 22 or 17 to 25 is what I'm presuming, okay? I didn't hear a specific age on this child, masculine or femme child. Um, but I'm presuming 17 to 25 is my presumptive guess on this, okay? Only you know the age of your child and if this resonates, okay? But they're about to flunk out of college. Um, but, and it hasn't happened yet if this resonates. Um, it's about to happen soon. The grades are terrible. Terrible. It's about to happen soon. The grades are terrible. Terrible. Okay, so I heard it's about to happen soon. The grades are terrible. So if it hasn't happened yet, but it sounds like it's about to happen soon. But you're a very prominent Aquarius if this resonates for you. So I feel you're high in your community, high stature in your world, in your community, in your society, etc., etc., etc. So you get lots of praise and recognition from your world and society. So I'm assuming you wanted the same for your child, but I heard the grades are terrible. It's about to happen soon. So they are about to flunk out of college, but whether they tell you or they don't tell you, if this ends up resonating for you, apparently some, if this story it ends up resonating for you, they might end up telling you about the affair with the instructor or not. I'm not sure, but if this ends up resonating for you, Aquarius, and this is your child and this ends up happening too. Know that an affair with an instructor had a lot to do with this. I guess the grades go into shit and um, them not studying, them basically um, 
spending time with this instructor or having this affair with this instructor. I, I'm assuming they probably, I don't know why they got an affair with this instructor. I would have thought the grades would have went up in an affair with an instructor, not paint down. But of course, there's only one instructor, affair with probably one instructor, and I'm sure they have many instructors. So I'm sure they were probably spending too much time with this instructor and focusing too much on this instructor, and it made the other grades go down is what I'm presuming. I heard the grades are terrible, but just know that if that ends up resonating for you, it was an affair with an instructor, whether they your child ends up telling you or not. So temporary problems is your child, I heard it's going to embarrass you. So you're very highly influential in your society and your world, and I'm sure you probably make good money or you have uh, a thriving business or what have you, what have you, but no, if that ends up happening for you, it was because of an affair, the child getting in an affair with an instructor. So, conflict of interest. Temporary problems, they're about to flunk out of school, college. Damn. And an Aquarius masculine, high vibrational Aquarius masculine is about to have a, a low vibrational karmic of the past try to come back and be with them. You were with this person in the past. You are not the same people anymore. Okay, so for one of you guys, you're a high vibrational Aquarius masculine. Uh, you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. It sounds like you were with this person romantically in the past. Definite romantical in the past. Okay, it's confirmation. Definite romantical in the past. So you were sexually connected to the person or you were together with them in a relationship or a side piece or a baby mama or a sneaky one well, probably not a baby mama but like a sneaky link some kind of sexual connection whether it was committed or not is what i'm saying in the past um but i heard they're going to try to come back and i heard they're karmic so i don't think they meant well for you then i don't think they mean well for you now um i heard you're not the same people anymore so i think you've leveled up in life and other ways and this person has re remained st stagnant is what i feel um, but they're going to try to come back soon, I think, to be with you romantically or sexually or what have you, what have you, you were sexually connected to them in the past. It hasn't happened yet. That could be the temporary problem too, but just know you're protected if that resonates for you. For some, it could be a fire sign or a, um, earth sign. I'm sorry, not earth sign. Fire sign or a water sign, karmic, um, Femme that's about to try to come back. Aquarius masculine. High vibrational if that resonates for you. Uh, they can have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sag in their charts if it is. I didn't hear it was. And that could be make sense with implication. They're going to try to invite themselves back into your life. But I did hear they're karmic, so they don't mean well for you or the situation. It sounds like they just want something from you. Um, and it sounds like they're going to try to tempt you with sex to get it. I mean, and I'm just being for real. Bold, plenty of material things. And Aquarius is about to get a very fo important phone call. A Pisces maid has been stealing from someone's household. A very prominent member of society of your society's household. For some, it's your side piece. For some, it's your family member. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you. Oh my, so you plug in how it resonates. Okay, so for one of you guys, you're about to receive a very important phone call from, it sounds like this client. Of, okay, so it's a Pisces fam. She could have Pisces in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Moon, 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 Jupiter, Charles, but it sounds like she has a maid business. It sounds like she has a maid business, like a clean, cleaning, cleaning business, a maid business. Um, for some, it's your family member, Pisces fam. Um, maid business is your family member. For some, it is your... Um, side piece so like a sneaky link or a well it's not a it's not a sneaky link because people know you're with her so third party 
a public third party is what it sounds like. It sounds like a public third party or she's your side piece, but this client knows she's your side piece. So she's not private, she's public. So like a public side piece. So she's either your public side piece or she is your family member. But I heard she, um, the client is about to find out she has been stealing important, expensive items out of their home. Um, and I heard they're about to call you and let you know this. I heard it's going to embarrass the hell out of you. These people will press charges. Know this. These people will press charges. Know this. So just know whether they tell you on the phone they're going to press charges or not. When they tell you about this theft, whether it's, uh, it's your public side piece they're talking about or your family member, just know they're going to press charges. Whether they tell you on the phone they're going to or not. So bold, plenty of material thing is uh, things. It's this prominent um, client that this Pisces Femme acquired to clean their home. But it sounds like they were acquiring to clean their home to case their home for their plenty of material things. Um, and I hate to say that, but that's exactly what it sounds like. That was exactly the case. But one of these clients implanted a hidden camera in their home and they have evidence. They will press charges. Oh my God, this confirmation. Okay. So, okay. So it sounds like they were acquiring all these wealthy, prominent members of society in y'all's community to case, strategically to taste, case their home to steal all these expensive items out of their home. But one of these clients implanted a hidden camera in their home, which is very legal. If you implant a hidden camera that you pay mortgage or rent for in your own home and nobody's frequently voyeuring you through it and you and you do it on your own free will because you pay your own bills there, it's very legal. It sounds like they already have and they've already caught evidence of her stealing, of her or her, or her um, employee stealing. It's her company basically liable for this shit. So whether she actually stole the items or somebody under her stole the items, it sounds like she's responsible here as the business owner or co-owner here. Um, but somebody's got evidence of somebody in her company stealing their nice, expensive shit, basically. Uh, but you're about to get a phone call about this. If this resonates for you, whether you're she's your public side piece or she is um, a family member, Aquarius. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. And I feel for whoever these people are, if this resonates for you, I think you're a prominent member of society, too. I feel for some, you could have referred her company to their home. Is I didn't hear that. Just intuitively, I feel that. But just know, either her or her little shysty employees were in strategically casing these homes to steal items. But their ass is about to get busted because the homeowner, at least one of the homeowners, has turned the tables and placed voyeur, hidden, not voyeur cameras, but hidden cameras in their own home to catch the assholes, and they already have. That's smart as hell. It is about to turn out very badly for her company and her business. It is about to turn out very badly for her company and her business. So just know, Aquarius, if you resonate over here, and you know you do, there's two of you. One, it's your family member that owns this maid company. Or one, it's your public side piece that owns the maid company. Just know it's about to turn out badly for her business and her company because um, somebody's about to take their ass to court of law for pressing charges for theft. And that's just the truth. And whatever they stole, I didn't hear what they stole. A very antique candelabra is very significant in this. A very antique, expensive, expensive. A very antique, expensive candelabra is very significant in this. And other expensive items, jewelry. And other expensive items, jewelry. So a very antique candelabra, expensive candelabra. So it's, it probably was passed down generation to generation is what I'm presuming. I didn't hear it was, but that's my intuitive guess on this. And expensive jewelry is significant in this. So jewelry and a very antique, expensive candelabra. You plug it in how it resonates. That's some shiesty crap. But I heard it's about to go bad for her business. Somebody's about to sue pants off this business is what I'm feeling for some theft. Cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control. Oh, let's do this one more time.
An Aquarius is about to get contact from the Bar Association. Shocking contact from the Bar Association. They're about to have to return money they took from a client in the past. They shouldn't have taken it, and they know they shouldn't have taken it. It was against ethics and the rules. Through many series of chain of events, they're about to have to return it. They're going to be pissed. One is an Aquarius masculine. One is an Aquarius feminine. Okay, so you, heavy lawyer energy in here. Okay, so two lawyers, one masculine, one feminine. They took money from a, um, I heard a client, past client, they shouldn't have taken her bar association and her lawyer, so it's a it's two lawyers, one masculine, one feminine lawyer. I feel you can know these lawyers possibly, but I heard they know they shouldn't have taken the money from the client in the past because of the situation and the circumstances. Because of the situation and circumstances, so they shouldn't have taken the money from the client in the past. It's a fem energy client of the past because of the situation and circumstances, but I heard they took it anyways. Um, and um, through many series of chain events, they're about to get contact from the Bar Association, so the Lawyers Association, um, over, it sounds like overseeing their state's um, Lawyers Association, the Bar. I heard um, informing them they're about to have to get the money back, but I heard they're going to be pissed about it. But I heard they shouldn't have done it anyways, and they know they shouldn't have done it anyways, because I heard it was against policies and procedures. Um, and given the third circumstances and situation they shouldn't have taken the money anyways but they chose to do it because they were greedy so i feel you can know this low vibrational masculine or femme lawyer that's about to have to return this money to the client uh you plug it in how it resonates i heard they shouldn't have taken it but they chose to do it anyway but the bar association sounds like knows about it or they're about to find out about it and they're about to send communication to these lawyers to make them return the money basically to the um to the client and negative series of chain events are about to occur for them in their career. And negative series of chain events are about to occur for them in their career. So they're about to have to return the money to the client, the fem client of their past. And negative series of chain events are about to occur for them in their own career. They're both lawyers, both low, low vibrational. They don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. And absolutely, if they knew they shouldn't have taken the money to begin with, and they wasn't honest with the client to begin with, and yet they took the money. Absolutely. But I heard the Bar Association is about to make them give it back because it's, you know, you're supposed to be ethical as a lawyer, just like a nurse. You're supposed to be ethical as a nurse, ethical as a lawyer. But do we always have upright, ethical lawyers and nurses? No. But these people are about to get caught, and that's just the truth. And I heard their their careers are about to decline, too. Well, that's, I mean, but they made that free willing choice. They could have, was should have been honest with her in the past, but they chose not to be because they were greedy. But... Series of chain of events is about to make them get the money back. A selling of a property is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. And a selling of a home. And letting a maid go. A selling of a home, a selling of a property, and letting a maid go is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. So changes, 555, five, five, changes energy here. Um, selling, for some, it could be you selling this home or property or somebody you're connected to, or you letting the maid go if you, ha if you have hired a maid or somebody you're connected to. Um, but whoever has a maid, obviously they have enough money to have this maid, and that's just the truth. Um, and then for one of you or somebody you're connected to, somebody's about to sell a home or a property or both. So obviously plenty of material things if you're able to, you know, sell this home or property or have enough assets and wealth to hire a maid, obviously. Cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control. An airplane is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. And if, and Georgia.
and Alabama and Florida. An airplane, Georgia, Alabama, and Florida is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. So one of you guys, I feel you might be a pilot or a co-pilot, or you might be a uh, airline stewardess or um, possibly something to do with the airplane, or you could be traveling on an airplane, or you could work on an airplane, maybe your airplane mechanic, something to do with the airplane, whether you work on the airplane as an airplane mechanic, or you are a stewardess or a pilot or a co-pilot, or what have you, what have you, something to do with the airplane, or you're traveling on an airplane to go visit somebody. Um, and Georgia, Alabama, and Florida are about to be become significant. So I feel you could travel on an airplane to Georgia, Alabama, or Florida, or you could know somebody that's about to travel on an airplane to Georgia, Alabama, or Florida, or um, maybe you're going to communicate with somebody from Georgia, Alabama, or Florida. Georgia, Alabama, or Florida is about to become significant in your life, whether I feel you're traveling there on an airplane or traveling there some other type of way, or you're communicating with somebody in Georgia, Alabama, or Florida. But I think if you're going to travel on an airplane or travel period, I think you're going to be protected. You uh, plug it in how it resonates. A Libra has been very heavily lying to you in the past. And a Pisces. And a younger Leo feminine and a Leo masculine. You're about to figure this out in a huge way. Okay, so a Libra, a Pisces, a Leo masculine, and a younger Leo, Leo femme has been lying to you in a huge way. Um, I heard you're about to figure this out in a huge way. So for some, one of these people could be significant in your life for one, two, or two plus. But we have Libra, masculine, femme, Libra. They can have Libra and any aspects of your charts. You plug them in, how they resonate. Um, Pisces, masculine fem Pisces, they can have Pisces in any aspects of their charts, you plug them in how they resonate, a younger Leo fem, 35, 34 and below, I feel, they can have Leo in any aspects of their charts and their fem, and then a Leo masculine, I feel he can be any age, and he can have Leo in any aspects of the charts, I heard he's been, um, they have been lying to you in a huge way, whether one's been lying to you or two or two plus have been lying to you, you're about to figure it out. So, protected from negative forces, i.e. all this lying and verbal, verbal manipulation. And verbal, verbal manipulation is spell work for anybody who doesn't know that shit. Just saying, just saying. So, you're protected from all this BS and lies and verbal manipulation and spell work, basically. I heard you're about to figure it out. So, that's good. So, I think they've snowed you over in the past. But you're about to figure out they were lying to you. In a huge way. In a huge way. Lying to you in a huge way. Whoever these people are. Pisces, Libra, younger Leo Femme, and a, a Leo Masculine. An Aquarius Masculine is about to run into a real witch. Real dark side witch, you're about to get very bad, bad, bad vibes from her. You're about to cut off communication from her. She's very, she tries to come across very sexy. She uses a lot of sex magic. You're about to pick up on this in a huge way. You're a light side Aquarius masculine. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So some kind of light side, your light side Aquarius masculine. So you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Doesn't sound like you've ran into her yet, but you're about to. Um, she's a true hoodoo voodoo dark side uh, witch. I mean, like, she doesn't do the fun kitchen witch, garden witch shit. I mean, like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, sacrifices of animals, sacrifices of humans, um, blood sacrifices, the hair of somebody, skin particles of somebody, fingernail shavings to put in their cauldron of hoodoo voodoo spell shit on people. I hate to say it like that, but it's just the truth. Like true dark art shit. Like the hair of something, something, something. Um, but I heard she uses a lot of sex magic. So I think she is sexy or she tries to make herself look sexy. Um, how that resonates applies, but you haven't ran into her yet, but you're about to. But I heard you're about to pick up the bad vibe space on her. 
And for some, I think you're going to pick up on the fact she is a dark arts. She truly is a dark witch. Um, and she uses a lot of sex magic. So I think she's going to come across very, um, very sexy to you or hit on you or, um, or something of that nature. Something to do with looks and attraction and sex. Just saying, just saying. But I heard you're going to pick up on it. You're going to pick up on it and then you're going to cut her off. So spiritually protected here, if this resonates for you. Um, she's a dark side witch, true dark side witch. But of course, I don't think she's going to tell you she is. But she uses sex magic to do it. So I think looks are heavily involved in this. Very heavily involved. They're very heavily involved. But you're about to see right through it. Okay, I heard they're very heavily involved. So looks are very heavily involved. So I do think she's very attractive or she tries to make herself look attractive. For some, I feel they could have had work done and I didn't hear that they have had work done, but intuitively, I feel for some of these dark witches, they have had augmentation of some shape, form, or fashion, like a tummy tuck or a facelift or a boob job or a butt job, butt implants or something to do with looks and aesthetics to make themselves more attractive. You haven't run across this person yet, if this resonates for you. But you are spiritually protected, and I feel you are very spiritual, if that resonates for you. Invocation. An Aquarius, there are many series of shame events. They're about to invite somebody out. And an Aquarius, there are many series of shame events. They're about to tell the truth to somebody and get a lawyer involved to help somebody. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Okay, so there are many series of shame events. One of you guys is about to invite somebody out. So that could be romantic or that could be platonic. You have to, only you know your situation story, not anybody else. But one of you guys is about to invite somebody out. So you, in this aspect, you are about to invocate somebody into your life. Um, invite them out. Now, that could be for dinner, drinks, a date. What, I mean, whatever you're proposing to do with this person. However, that resonates and applies. Only you know what your plans are there, Aquarius. Um, I feel your light side. Whoever that's for. I, I feel it to be platonic or it can be romantic. Only you know your intentions and who you're going to plan to invite out. That's situation one. And for situation two... For one of you guys, um, there's a lot of lies in here. You realize you were lied to. You're about to get a lawyer involved to help somebody. So uh, inviting uh, inviting energy in of a lawyer to help somebody because you realize you were lied to in a huge way. However, that resonates in the plots um, in one slide, okay? A radio station is very significant in Aquarius' life. Someone is about to be invited to be on a radio show, not an Aquarius. A radio station is very significant in one of your lives. One, you work there. One, you have stock in a, a radio station. One, you work there, and one, you have stock in a radio station. So, one, you work at a radio station, and one, you have stock in a radio station. You plug it in, how it resonates. And for one, you, um, for one, somebody, not you, but somebody you're connected to is about to be invited to um, talk on a radio station soon. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. It's going to be out of their state. And this person will not hold back. And you know it. It's about to create many positive series of chain events for them. Okay. So the person that's about to be invited to talk on a radio station is not you. It's somebody you know or you're connected to, how that resonates and applies. But it's definitely somebody you know, either current energy or past energy. But it's going to be outside their state. So whatever state, they live in the United States. Whatever state outside their United States they live in, it's outside their state. It sounds like they're going to take this person up on the invitation to talk on this radio uh, show, on the radio station. And I heard once they do, they're going to be very real and very honest. And I heard once 
they're real and honest and they talk on the radio station very candidly it sounds like it's going to create very positive series of chain of events for them so they're going to be invited to talk on this radio uh, radio show radio station but it's not in their state it's in a different state and they reside in the united states of america you could or could not south dakota is very significant in this south dakota is very significant in this so south dakota so maybe the the talk show host or the radio station or the radio i think the radio station um or the yeah is in south dakota i heard south south dakota is very significant but it's wherever i'm thinking they're gonna be invited to talk in a talk so talk show host or talk radio or uh, talk live or whatever the hell it is in south dakota but it's not you it's not uh, it's somebody you're connected to but i heard it's going to basically benefit them in a huge way a huge way it's going to create many positive series of chain, chain events for them okay i heard it in a huge way it's going to be, benefit them in a huge way it's going to create many positive series of chain events for them so you plug in how it resonates. If that resonates for you, Aquarius, it's not you. It's somebody you know, either in current energy or past uh, or past energy. If that re resonates, okay. Love you guys so much. Namaste.